everybody it's Michelle and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put together a really fun little single serve hot cocoa gift in a jar I think these would be really great for stocking stuffers or co-worker gifts or something like that but I think it's going to be really fun to do the single serve just in one little individual jar these are the little four ounces that I used last year in my pumpkin spice mini gift in a jar. I have made hot chocolate gift in a jar mixes before, totally from scratch in a larger jar that you use out of throughout the season. But today for our single serve, we're not going to worry about making anything from scratch. We're just using the already made Nestle hot chocolate mix or whatever brand that you prefer. And then we're going to be adding our other ingredients in, not only to add flavor, but to make a really beautiful layered look in our jar. So the first thing we're going to do is take the lid off of our jar and start our layering. Our first layer is going to be two tablespoons of the hot chocolate mix. And I'm going to end up using three, but I'm saving one of those as a layer later on to help give that pretty look in my jar. And I'm trying to get my spoon down in there so that I don't get this all over the jar. So I'm going to shake it flat and give it a little bit of a tap so we can level out that layer. And then I'm going to take a napkin and I'm going to wipe out my measuring spoon because my next layer is going to be that French vanilla and I want it to be pretty and white in my layer and not have that cocoa all over it. So one tablespoon, let's get that completely full, one tablespoon of that goes in and again I'm going to try to get down there and get it just on that lower level. And then again, I'm going to wipe out my measuring spoon. And next, we're going to add another tablespoon of our hot chocolate mix. And I love that we can create that layered look like the bigger gift in a jar mixes and still have it layered in our tiny little mix. Okay, and the next layer is our coffee. And you can use regular instant coffee if you want to instead of the decaf. And I'm adding one and a half teaspoons of that, which equals half a tablespoon. But this particular measuring spoon set doesn't happen to have half a tablespoon so we're going to put one and a half teaspoons and level that out I think I'm going to reach down in there a little bit and flatten that layer out so that it looks really nice and then for our next layer we're going to put our crushed peppermints Originally, I was going to attach one peppermint stick to the side of the jar as sort of a stirring stick, but my jar is so small that my peppermint sticks are actually taller than my jar. So I decided just to go ahead and crush it up and use that as a layer right in our mix, and that'll just melt right into our hot cocoa. You can use the pre-packaged peppermint bits here if you want to, in which case you will just use about a tablespoon and a half, but for these I just used one of the peppermint sticks and crushed that up, and I'm going to add that in as my next layer. I'm just going to take the back end of a spoon here to move that around and make sure it's one nice flat layer. 
And then for our last layer, we're just going to take our marshmallow bits and finish filling the jar completely up. And put your lid back on. And there you have your beautiful layered gift in a jar. And I think it is so cute. So now we're going to decorate it up. And I've got a little tag here that I created by just cutting out a little piece of shimmery cardstock with the smallest from my scalloped tag die set. And that's just an unbranded set that I got on eBay. I'll leave the link to those too so you guys can get some of those. And I've attached some of my red and white baker's twine to kind of play up that peppermint look. And that's just baker's twine from Dollar Tree. And I tied a knot about an inch up so that that stops it when I go to tie around and gives us a little bit of dangle. So I'm going to wrap that around the back, back again to the front, and tie it in a bow. I'm going to go ahead and do a knot there, and then do my bow. And just trim up my strings there. And I think I'm going to leave it at that and not put any larger bows or anything to distract from my layering. I think it's adorable just like that. And if you want to, you can write instructions on the back to add this to about 12 ounces of hot water. Because this makes one of those large mugs. And I think this is just adorable and I think it makes a really cute stock and stuffer. So you guys be sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my little stocking stuffer gift in a jar. I think this is really cute and I think whoever you decide to give this to will really love it. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and be sure to join our Facebook group Crafty Minds. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll have the links to all of those in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.